Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Our webinar will begin in just a moment, but we wanted to share this video of Maria from Venezuela sharing her cultural exchange experiences. So here is her story. My name is Maria, I'm from Venezuela. I teach Spanish in kindergarten this year. I think what is special for me is our rich culture. I'm so glad to come to this beautiful country and share what we as Venezuelans do. This traditional outfit is from La Guajira. It's a special tribe where we have different colors to represent nature. Because our ancestors have taught us that we have to take care of the Pachamama, which is the Mother Earth for us. I think people here value you as you are. And I think it's, it's an open country that sees that um, culture is more powerful than any other thing. For example, in my school, I cannot imagine how rich it is having Puerto Ricans, having Ecuadorian, having uh, Colombian people, having American, learning Spanish. This opportunity to learn another language empower them as a human. What has helped me a lot is being able to understand different ways of teaching. You have a variety of strategies, skills, learning processes. Uh, even you have personalized learning that is like who, 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 because I have the tools to be as a teacher. I just want to say thank you, EPI. The school that you has placed me is, I think, is the best school. What I love the most is that uh, you are with these beautiful kids and they are very excited to see you. If you see, see the little kindergartners, they are like, I love what she says, how she moves. And when they realize that they can do what you do, they feel secure, they feel sure. So I love really, uh, teaching. It's a wonderful experience. It makes me feel happy. Hi everybody and welcome to our webinar, How to Apply to Teach in the USA with EPI. My name is Jessica and I work as a content coordinator for EPI. I am from the mountains of North Carolina and before working for Educational Partners International, I taught English at the community college level. Today I will be talking with you about EPI's application process and answer any questions that you might have. We will be answering them in the comment section throughout today's presentation. Please keep in mind that we won't be able to answer questions about your specific application for privacy reasons. All of those should be emailed to team at teachwithepi.com where one of our trained admissions specialists will be able to assist you. Today we will be talking about how to apply to teach in the USA with Educational Partners International. During this webinar, we will be going over how to start your application and what documents you will need for it. We will also explain the purpose of the application and give you some tips that will make the process go as quickly as possible. If you are joining us for the first time, we are Educational Partners International, or EPI for short, and we are a cultural exchange program that brings international teachers to teach in K-12 schools in the United States. We are so dedicated to facilitating cultural exchange in the U.S. because EPI believes sharing knowledge across cultures and venues improves understanding among teachers, students, administrators, and members of the communities in which we live. This is our core mission, 
to help exchange knowledge and information between cultures so that we can understand each other better and work together to create a global community. Educational Partners International is an exchange visitor program authorized to sponsor teachers for K-12 placement in public, private, and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. We place teachers in all subjects taught in K-12 schools, so that means not only foreign languages and English as a second language, but also math, science, art, special education, elementary education, and many more. While we work with schools across the southern United States, our home office is in western North Carolina. We would love to know where you are from too, so please take the time to tell us in the comments. And wherever you are joining us from, thank you so much for watching. So now that you have some background on who we are, it's important to understand EPI's process. So our process for bringing teachers like you to the United States look like, looks like this. First, you complete an application so that we know you are eligible for our program and will be a strong candidate for cultural exchange. This includes filling out a thorough online form, uploading official documents, and two interviews with EPI team members. After you've completed the application process, you are moved to the approved stage where you interview at one of our partnered schools. Once you've completed a successful school interview, you are placed in the school and become an official EPI teacher. So let's take a closer look at the first step, the application. So EPI's application is thorough and it serves many purposes. Filling it out creates a professional profile for schools to look at when they are considering teachers for interviews. It also helps you collect the documents that you will need to get a visa, travel to the United States, and get a teaching license. Finally, we use the information you provide on the application to decide whether or not you meet our eligibility requirements. Some of the requirements for being an EPI teacher are that you are currently teaching, you have at least two years full-time teaching experience, and you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree. So you have read about EPI, meet our qualifications, and have decided that you want to apply to teach in the USA. How do you get started? Well, the first step is to go to our website, teachwithepi.com. Once you are there, you will scroll down until you see the Apply button. After you answer the eligibility question and click Submit, you'll be able to make an account with your email address and start your application. Once you start your application, it is important that you prioritize completing your personal and professional profile as soon as possible so that you can quickly move to the next stage. So one of the most common questions our candidates ask is how long does the process take? So our application is designed to make sure that you are able to travel and teach in the U.S. It includes processing all of your documents and two interviews with EPI team members. So how long it takes really depends on how quickly you can collect and upload the appropriate documents. So here is a list of the documents you will need to upload to your application before you are eligible for school interviews. We ask for copies of all pages of your passport, diploma, transcripts, criminal background checks, proof of employment, and a credential evaluation from an NACES approved company. When you are first starting your application, you should prioritize uploading the passport pages, diplomas, and transcripts because we will need these documents before we can invite you for interviews with EPI team members. Please keep in mind that the only place you should upload these documents is to the official EPI website, teachwithepi.com. To protect your privacy, you should never upload any documents to Facebook we will not accept any documents through our Facebook page or messages. Today we also have some tips on what you can do to make sure the application process goes as quickly and smoothly as possible. The first step is to read all of our requirements before you apply. You can find a complete list on our website. When completing the application, you will also need to be sure to read and follow all directions carefully. You also want to proofread all of your answers as any typos or mistakes made with spelling and dates can make it take longer. 
Finally, be sure to create your account with a valid email address and check your email regularly. We will only be able to discuss your application through email, so it is important that you are looking for emails from EPI about your status. Okay, so now we will be taking time to address questions. If you have not submitted yours yet, please ask them now. We will be answering all of your questions in the comments section today. So here are some of the most common questions we get at EPI. Lots of applicants want to know how long the EPI program is, and we are a three-year program. People also ask, is there an application fee? The answer is no, there is no application or placement fee. There are other costs associated with your application, such as obtaining your diploma or transcripts, but EPI will never charge you an application or a placement fee. Another question we often get is, is there an age limit? So no, there is no age limit. As long as you meet our basic requirements, you can join the EPI program regardless of your age. So some of those requirements are that you are currently teaching with at least two years full-time teaching experience, you have the equivalent of a US bachelor's degree, and you have advanced English skills. We also have some other questions that have been on our applicants' minds more recently. Most people want to know, is EPI still accepting applications? So yes, EPI is continuing to accept and process applications. You can apply by visiting our website, teachwithepi.com. For more information about what our application process looks like at this time, please email our admissions team at team at teachwithepi.com. Another question that applicants have is, can I put my application on hold? And yes, you are able to start your application and later put it on hold if you need to. There is no obligation to continue once you have started. You can then choose to resume your application at a time that is better for you and your personal situation. Finally, our applicants have been wondering, how does EPI support teachers during times of uncertainty or emergencies? So we always prioritize the safety of our program members and provide support for any situations that may arrive while they're in the United States. For example, since the outbreak of COVID-19, we have been monitoring the situation, providing detailed guidance for our teachers, and operating at a normal capacity so that we can be available for all of our program members. So now that you know more about how to apply, let's talk next steps. First, if you haven't yet, go to teachwithepi.com and start your application. If you have applied but have questions about how to continue, email us at team at teachwithepi.com. Finally, go to teachwithepi.com slash webinars to sign up for our future, future webinars and watch all of our previous videos. To end our presentation today, I would like to leave you with this quote as a reminder of why cultural exchange is so important and why we are eager to bring teachers like you to the United States. J. William Fulbright was a U.S. Senator and the founder of the Fulbright Program. He said, the essence of intercultural education is the acquisition of empathy, the ability to see the world as others see it, and to allow for the possibility that others may see something that we have failed to see or may see it more accurately. We are dedicated to helping teachers like you come to the U.S. so that we may learn from each other's unique perspectives, just like Fulbright talks about here. Okay, that's all for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any further questions, email us at team at teachwithepi.com. Also, be sure to sign up for our webinar mailing list at teachwithepi.com slash webinars. On behalf of everyone at EPI, thank you for joining us and have a great day, everyone.